Hi there. I just returned from a trip to New York City to celebrate a turning point in my life and have a lot of fun. <laughs> and it certainly was, especially since I was able to stay at a grand, luxurious hotel suite <laughs> and see many amazing sights in New York. And this was only a coincidence, but the hotel was in the Bowery District, which happens to be a mecca for kitchen supply stores, restaurant supply stores, and enough kitchen gadget porn to make a foodie go bankrupt. <laughs> yes, there was a lot of cast iron to be seen there, but it was all modern day cast iron made for restaurants. <laughs> However, even more impressive there in the Bowery were all of the knives available for purchase, and it was there that I discovered this once-in-a-lifetime bargain that I simply could not pass up. I already own a carbon steel Sabatier chef's knife, but when I came across this 12-inch Sabatier uh, at a price I could actually afford, well, again, this was one of those instances where I simply could not say no. Uh, it has a 12-inch blade, and it's even more impressive than the original. <laughs> it's a Thiers Assard uh, four-star elephant Sabatier. It has some pitting on the blade, which suggests that it had rusted rather badly at some point in the past, but a good scrubbing with Barkeeper's Friend uh, has made this knife seem as good as new. <laughs> and... It's certainly sharp enough. <laughs> so now, we get to put this knife through its paces, and make ourselves some steak and cheese. Actually, we'll be making steak and cheese and a vegetable side dish, which is why the steak is going into the freezer. This will help to make the meat more solid and easier to slice, and it will be ready by the time we're finished slicing all of these vegetables. We prepare a sauce of sautéed onion and garlic with cream stirred in and thickened to the right consistency. Then we get to make a work of art. Well, very simple art. Then we top the vegetables and add fresh Parmesan cheese on top. 
we cover the pan with a lid and bake it at 400 degrees for half an hour. After this, we remove the lid and bake it for another 15 minutes. After we remove the lid, we can get down to making our steak and cheese. This simply involves preheating a large cast iron pan and slicing a big ribeye steak. The knife did a wonderful job here and I'm especially glad I didn't pass this one up. And into the pan it goes. Top with provolone cheese and also fry up some of the extra sliced onions. And here we are. I hope you haven't been bored by this little indulgence as it's just a video to mark a special event in my life. Discovering this knife was like finding hidden treasure and I intend to get a lot of use out of this new knife. <laughs> of course, my 10-inch Sabatier was my daily user for the past five years and I was never disappointed with that one either. <laughs> Since I live alone, it's hard to justify owning two Sabatier knives, especially since I have a collection of additional knives. <laughs> and since I'm not a hoarder, that will probably mean I'll have to pass on the 10 inch chef's knife to a friend who knows how to properly care for a carbon steel uh, cooking knife. And since the holidays are arriving, well, this will make a fine present. But in addition, I do hope you've enjoyed these videos because I feel this does mark something of a turning point. And from here, I guess I can only say, the best is yet to come. See you soon. And thank you for watching.